Hello Grammar, Mr. Laffley here on this beautiful afternoon and uh, here with uh, Mr. Tim Beers and, uh, and Ms. Caitlin Gray, our communications coordinator. And uh, I, what I wanted to do today was take you on a special tour. Uh, because of the circumstances under which we find ourselves living, uh, parents and guests can't come into the building, but I thought maybe I could take you in this way and do my best to show you around and answer some questions. Some months ago, we, uh, we asked you all in a survey uh, the what would help you to feel more comfortable about coming back this fall, and we listened. And I hope that what you see here in a few minutes will, uh, will give you something to smile about, okay? So if you're ready to go, let's go inside, and I'll show you around. So of course we've entered the atrium. In the morning, the prep school and the senior school will come into this space uh, as usual. The middle school students will enter through the old middle school front door and our littlest junior primaries will enter through the side gate as they did during the regular school year. Now, one of the important parts of our plan is to have a temperature check upon entry to the school. And so we have uh, two systems that we're going to use. The first is just behind me. This is called a thermal camera. And as every one of us walk in through the front door, a temperature will be taken. And if that temperature is elevated, we'll have an opportunity to go to one of the infirmary rooms that I'll show you in just a moment to have a secondary check uh, to make certain everything is okay. And then a little junior primaries will have their temperature taken but that wand every morning. And our middle school students will have a similar thermal camera take their temperature over on the other side of the building. We'll take a walk now to one of those uh, infirmary rooms just so you can have a peek at what that looks like. Come on with me. So this is one of our infirmary rooms. Uh, we'll have a number of them through the building in case someone's not feeling well. And it's an opportunity, particularly in the morning, if the temperature is elevated, to come on privately inside. And we'll do a little temperature check with this wand. See what it looks like. Looks like I passed. We're good. Uh, and then in the event the temperature, of course, is high, we'll call home and mom and dad can come pick up uh, the student. Sounds good to me. Why don't we take a walk into the prep school? As we walk toward the prep school, uh, you may notice on the floor uh, the arrows that we've placed here, and this is to ensure that we're able to keep our uh, physical distancing from each other as we go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you into one of the prep school rooms. Now, of course, we're still putting everything together, but I want to show you some of the new features that we've added for the school. So come on with me. So as you see behind me, uh, some of the things are familiar, some are a little different, and I'll talk about each for just a moment. But of course, the first thing you see is that the tables are spread apart from each other. The first thing everyone does when they walk into a classroom, though, is to get a little on their hands, right? And then we feel like we have gotten rid of the germs that are there. Now, you'll notice on each of the tables is plexiglass. Now, this is just the initial piece. Uh, in about four or five days, they'll be affixed to the table with brackets and some Velcro as well. And what this will allow is safe distancing and keeping those droplets from coming in contact with someone else. <laughs> Ms. Gray just asked a very good question. Can we play outside? Of course! <laughs> uh, and at the teacher's desk is another um, piece of plexiglass. And this will provide uh, that extra uh, attention to safety that uh, we want for everyone here. And of course, we have our masks, as well as two different kinds of face shields that we're providing for all our teachers. So, As I said earlier, uh, each of the schools will enter in a different way into grammar. Uh, the middle school students will enter the old middle school door and they will stay within this building for the duration of the day, unless, of course, they're outside on the playground. So let's take a walk inside, and I'll show you a little of what's happening in here. So again, lots familiar, but new things have been added. So again, a thermal a camera takes a temperature check to ensure everyone is feeling well, big signs to remind us of how we should uh, act according to um, our plan, and little reminders as well along the floor with the arrows. Go for it. So now we're going to take the journey of the senior school student in the morning. So as you enter, of course, your temperature will be checked. All is good. We're going to work our way upstairs. Now, what's important here is that no 
school ever comes in contact with another school. That is to say, the prep, middle, and senior are all quite separate. So why don't you walk this way, and we'll talk as we go. You'll notice on the floor, uh, again, an arrow to direct me and a reminder to please leave space. And there is still some furniture here, as you see in the atrium. Uh, and this is what I'm calling um, the world's greatest staff room. So our staff and faculty have a place to sit uh, and eat their lunch before going back to work. So follow me. So we're going to walk along the top of the atrium. And because senior school students will not be able to use their lockers, we're going to try to be creative about how their personal belongings might be taken care of. So to my right, you'll see, of course, coat racks. And the coat racks will be for our senior school students. Now this spot is one where typically you would have some prep school students down this hallway, but our senior school students continue on. So we want to make certain that there's a dividing line. And so we've taken the time and effort to ensure we've installed all the important reminders about responsible distancing as we go. So let's continue on upstairs. So now we're on the third floor, the remaining part of the senior school, and there's a good deal that'll be very familiar, but of course what we've added are those plexiglass dividers to ensure the safety of the students and the teachers. We've also added not only the reminders to leave your space, um, but also arrows uh, for a single direction and uh, some extra reminders in terms of staying uh, on one side or the other as you move from class to class. Now, it's important to remember that in the high school, there are class transitions. Now, we've organized it so there'll only be three changes in the course of a day. Uh, students will eat lunch uh, in the class that they happen to be in when lunchtime comes. And just as a reminder, when it's lunchtime, we eat at our desks and then we ensure that we clean up afterwards. And, uh, the other classes from grade nine down are all cohorted. And that means once they enter their room, they stay with that group for the balance of the day, unless it's recess uh, or it's time to go home. Uh, but otherwise, uh, they stay safe by staying together. So we'll take a little walk down the hall. And again, you'll see lots of reminders and dividers um, and encouragement to, uh, to always take care of each other. So one of the other features of the senior school, of course, is an appropriate study hall when you don't have class. And so what we've done is we've outfitted what you'll remember as the theater uh, as our study hall. Let's take a look inside. And so the tables will be outfitted, of course, with the plexiglass uh, that I've shown you in some of the other classrooms. Again, everything will be done by Friday this week, which is just about the time you'll be receiving this video. So at the end of the day, we have three distinct ways of students leaving the campus. Uh, the prep school parents, as has been indicated, will be able to drive into the parking lot here, into the driveway, and with a card and number system, they'll be able to, uh, to indicate uh, their child, and then we'll use a walkie-talkie system to deliver uh, to the car. Middle school students will all be walked right off campus over to St. Mary's. Uh, they've been gracious about letting us use their parking lot, and middle school students can be picked up there. And then, of course, senior school students can arrange with their parents uh, to meet their uh, drives somewhere uh, on the streets nearby. And that pretty well ends our tour. I know you probably have lots of questions, and I encourage you to reach out to the heads of school or to myself, uh, and we're happy to answer all that we can uh, before we start school on September the 3rd, uh, and looking forward to that. It's been six long months since I've seen everybody, and I couldn't be more excited about everybody coming home again. Uh, so until then, and remember, always wash your hands. Life's a journey, so I've heard different, different paths, same, same